it looks like we're doing an island. That's right, we're back for the last installment in the How to Learn Cursive video yes. series. And we are working on island through, I bet for Z I did zebra, I don't know. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, you think so? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but now I'm curious. W. Zebra. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I did zebra. <laughs> because I'm very creative like that. Okay, so island. So you start with this, looks like you go down. Yep. Look. Make your little sail. L. A. And then we've got our N and our D. So this looks like a word that doesn't trip you up too much. Yeah, it's like. You just go with the flow. <laughs> like you're on an island. Yeah. Okay. And we make our little sail. You know what? What? Since we're riding an island, you make your little sail makes it feel like, you know. You're sailing on an sailing. island. You don't have a care in the world. It, 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 it's like, it's like uh, you wrote island on, on like every, yeah, yeah, you know, I am. I, I know what you mean. Yep, all the way up. And then we have an A. Yep. And then down, in, and make that D. Great job. That looks great. Thank you. Uh, I think the only thing we could do a little bit better is just connect the S immediately to that L, so we don't have this little stroke down here. Do you think you can do that? I'll try. Okay. And if you need to change markers, you can do that. I think this blue one isn't um, as broad, if you feel like you wanna change. What does that mean? Oh, like, you know, with the purple one, your strokes were getting really big, and I think it's because the tip of the marker was wearing down. I think the same thing is happening with the green, because yeah. you can see that your strokes are a lot thinner there. Do you and want you want some blue? Yes, okay. This island was perfect, by the way. You totally killed it, like not making this stroke right there. So that was excellent. Okay. All the way down. S. Make a little sail, like a triangle. Like this. You wanna try again? Good job. I'm not really like very familiar with the S. I know the S, so you're gonna go like boom, boom, boom. Does that make sense like this? Yep, yeah, perfect. Now pull all the way up for an L. Yep, and then A. Yep, and then A. Can you do in? Is that like a W? Yeah. That's okay. You know, I think I messed up on this with the directions. I'm gonna have to rewrite those for people at home because I told everybody to make an I like this, but in this word, I'm telling you to do it like that and that's not right. So I think this one I'm gonna need to work on a little bit. This looks pretty good. I think this is another word that maybe we should practice a little bit more in the- Jelly? Does that say jelly? It does say jelly. Are you ready to move on to jelly? <laughs> yes. Jelly is pretty fun, okay? So we start, loop all the way down, make that little E, and then L, L. Yep, Y all the way down. Awesome. That's a fun word, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And then up a little bit, L, L, Y. Perfect. I feel like I'm just going to do one of these and then just, cause it feels like. Well, you feel pretty confident about it, right? Maybe you don't need a ton of practice with this one. Make that E, yep. L, L. Oh man, she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it, folks. Yep, all the way down. Jelly! Yep. 
All I want is to to be more squished together. Because mm -hmm. it looks like it's just farther out. And I have like tons of air to breathe into. Okay. Do you want to do one more? Or yeah. no? Okay. Like probably like three more. Three more? Okay. Do I don't know what I'm going to do. You are a good jelly writer. Oh, almost. We forgot just one little stroke right there to make that a ah! <laughs> So now we have another jelly. Mm -hmm. so, and then that Y goes all the way up to the middle. Yes! Awesome! Jelly girl. You don't have to write it again if you don't want I to. I want to. I can see that you've got this one down. Oh, almost. Uh, yeah, that was great though, that you went back and you, you looked at what made the yes. word difficult to read and you changed it. I think this one was the best one I did. Yes. So. Hey, I love that you just underlined the best one that you did. That is actually something I have people do when they're learning calligraphy too. Uh, yeah, because uh. you know you need to be able to look and say, hey, this is what I did right, and then underline it. Okay, so this next word, can you read? Kettle. Hey, great job. I think that you'll probably do well on this one. Okay. Yeah, it's a K, and then E, and then we just make like three L's. Oh, oh, oh. And then which ones do we cross? T, yep. Yes, and I love that you just did one line there. You can totally do that if you have two T's in a row. I love to do that, and sometimes I even make it like, woo. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that on this one because you have that third L there. So if you cross it, it'll look like cat. Ketty. Yeah, ketty. <laughs> yeah, so we want to make sure that we do not cross that L because that'll just make it into another T, which is not what we want. Very good. Oh, this is a fun word. I didn't even realize when I was writing this how fun it is. Because it's basically just vroom, 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 vroom. Yeah. Because you make this little loop, these three big loops, and this little loop again. Yeah. I think I got it down. You think you got it down? Yeah. Okay. Loop, loop, <laughs> loop, and E. Yes, awesome. Yep. And then you start at the top. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, and then all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, and then little one. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! I kind of want it to be like smushed together, like I said last time, but not like smush in the medium, you know? In the medium? Okay, go ahead. Give that a shot. Okay. Awesome. You know what I want to point out what? is that even though you're just now learning cursive, I can tell that you wrote that a lot faster than if you would have written it in print letters. Yeah. And so now you're seeing the point of learning cursive, whereas you would have gone K, E, T, T, L, E, you are just making a series of loops and you've got it and you're doing it nice and quick. So I'm really, really loving that. Yeah, let's do one more of that fun one. And then we're on to one that maybe is... Not that fun? Well, it's a little... So that one was pretty quick and this is how I write it. That wasn't as quick. Yeah, I'd say this was like faster. Yeah, for sure, for sure. These two I think would be the best, this one. Really, this one's bit. probably my favorite because it is the easiest one to read because you have a nice separation in between the letters there. You're actually right. Yeah. So, so we have uh, L. Mm-hmm. L. Laundry. Let's let's talk it out. We have L here. What's this? A. A. What's this? D. D. Y. Y. This letter, this one's a tough one. It's the one that's like L, but not quite. It's L with an B. eyelash. B. U. U. Uh, G. 
Ladybug. That's right. So now very good. A. You're good at D's. Maybe this one isn't as hard as I thought. Then it's like an L with an eyelash. Yep. And then G. Oops. That's okay. That is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be a really, really tough word for you. Cause it's like really, like so much letters squished. It's so many letters squished together. together. Yeah. You wanna try again? I'm gonna do this one. You are without the arrows? Mm -hmm. Oh man, that is daring. But you're doing a great job. Oh gosh. Now we do that Y all the way down and then all the way up. Eyelash, U, and G. That's probably just how I do my G's. So, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do one, skip one, do one, skip one. Okay, that's okay. I'll try it. You're gonna try it on your own? Or are you gonna well, trace maybe. over again? Trace over. Well, what I'm noticing is as we are getting further down this worksheet, you are writing with more confidence because you're getting experience writing words in general. All right, all the way up, little eyelash, U and G. Perfect. Now. I'm curious to see how this goes. Do you, do you wanna look at the word right here? Well, I mean, I guess I just will tilt my like. Yes, rotation is always good. Well, that L is confusing. Yeah, I know, the L is a little confusing. A, yep. Now D, you're in good territory now. You know the D. And then up to the middle for Y. Yep, yep, all the way up for B. Yep, make a little eyelash. U, and then down again. And then up to make like an A shape. Whoops, whoops, not all the way up. Oh, we were really close. All we have to do is add that G and you have ladybug. You wanna try it one more time? You were so, so close. And you did a great job on the L. L's are so much fun once you get the hang of them. And you've got the hang of it. So A, and then make another A shape for that D, yep. And then Y, go up to the middle. Yep, down, all the way up for that B, cause it's like an L with an eyelash. So loop down. Up, eyelash, U, you got the U. Oh, down again, okay. Now all you have is a G. We can do this G. Oh, so <laughs> close, so close. All we needed was this little loop here. Maybe like one more so I can like grade it, grade it. Okay. I hope this one's better than all of them because they're not that good. <laughs> they are so good. You are doing a great job. I have seen so much improvement since we first started. Look, you were writing in cursive and you couldn't do that before. That's amazing. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Hey, you fixed it. You fixed it really well. Now go up to the middle. Yep, all the way down, all the way up, all the way up, Chicky. Yep, now little eyelash, U, and then make like an A shape for your G. You can do it. Yeah! I would say this one was like the best cause like the others, I forgot this mm -hmm. and I, yeah. I think probably a good thing to work on in the future will be the letter formation for that G because it's pretty easy to make when you go like boom, 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 boom. So it's just circle, stroke. Got it. Okay. So we have my one. Mm-hmm. Yep, A, Magnet. G, yes, very good. Magnet. Magnet. Okay, so this is another G. G's can be a little tricky. A, G, oh, you did that G perfectly. Yeah. N, E, T. Yes, and I love how you cross that at the end. Yeah. You getting a little? No, wait, wait, <laughs> no. That's what, go like this. Yep. Then maybe roll your shoulders a little bit. Yes, that's good. Okay. Whoops, my paper moved. Yep. 
Great formation on that end. Yes. I mean, my paper is kind of moving for some reason. Well, you can always rotate it Oops. so it's, it's okay. A little so we easier. Have magnet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to skip that one and this one. That's okay. Now you at home, I wouldn't recommend skipping. It's always a good idea to do the entire worksheet. But since we're filming, we want to get through these today. I think it's a good idea to for you to skip if you need to. And you're doing so well on these that I'm really not that worried about it. Wow. Okay, keep going. I'm not going to say anything. Yep. Um, Little e, loop for the E. Mm -hmm. T. I like always saying at the end of magnet on this, I said E T. Yes. E T is in a movie. That's right. E T <laughs> is in a movie. Okay, so now let's turn to page 12. 12. Okay. Oh, this one is just nice and simple. Nest. Nest. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nice little sail. Yep, all the way up. Oh, I can already tell that this one is gonna be fine for you. No, no, I was going to. You're gonna do it without arrows? Perfect. Yep, little loop. Yep, little triangle thing, yep. I'll bet we can do one that's even better than that. You think yeah. you can do one more? Just go tilt the poop. Little loop, little triangle thing for an S. Yes, very good. So we're still on nest. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to do a few more or and slant my paper. That's right, that's super important to rotate your paper exactly how you need it to be to make it easier to write for you. Oh, that was so close. That actually looks like nert. That kind of looks like an R to me. No, it does. Yeah, so we want to make sure that we make our S, yes, just like that. <laughs> Is nert in the world? It could be a name, it could be a name. Yep, all right, nert. Like you'd say, hi nert. Hi nert, yeah, instead of nerd, maybe. Yeah. Okay, N, E, and now we pay attention to this letter because we know it's tricky. Very good. The only thing I would change, I would make this touch. And then it really looks like nest. Our whole goal is somebody would look at this word and without even thinking about it, they say, oh yeah, that says nest. Because we want to write in neat and legible cursive, yep. Okay, I look at that and I think it's nest. Definitely it's nest. definitely nest. You want to do one more of that? Yep. yep. Okay. I feel very comfortable with this. You feel comfortable with that word? What's been your favorite word so far? I don't know. I think mine was kettle. Jelly. Jelly? jelly. You like jelly like, better than kettle? No, I, mean, like, I like kettle. <laughs> I thought kettle was a fun one. Awesome. This one and this one would. First and yes, second. Yes, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. This one was like, what, like Nert? <laughs> but these two are perfect. Just so you know, if your name's Nert, that's a good name. That's a perfect name. We like that name. <laughs> yeah, we like that name. Okay, so now, do you know what this says? Onion. Okay, so you just saw that and you knew immediately. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait. Go first. Yeah, I know, that's tricky. And then we do in. I, O, N, and then Got boom. It. Wow, you did that with a lot more confidence than when we started writing words. Oy. Very good. And then I'm ready. O, end with a little loop, yep. In. I, yep, down, O, in. 
That looks like onion to me. The letter formation was just a little off. What I would change is I would give a little more space between these. Well, just between the I and the O, really. Because this is kind of like, huh, what is this letter? So it's like yeah. I O N. Yeah. Okay? You want to try again? It. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to just do one more. That is a really good idea because every time you do guided practice, that's kind of like somebody holding your hand a little bit and saying, okay, this is how you do this. Ah, <sighs> okay. Very good. Oh, yep. And then let's do our N up to the middle. Yep. I. I. And then O. It's kind of a tricky letter combo, I think, the I and the O. Yeah, the I and the O are like, you don't know what to do with them. Well, can you, here, watch this and go I, O. Can you do that? Yep. I, down. Let's take your hand. I guess we, I guess we, it's just like. So go I, and then we go down all the way. And then instead of looping around, like you want to loop this way for O. We're not going to loop that way. We're going to go I, O. So. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I know it's awkward, but this is a good thing to do at home if somebody's there that can help you. Okay, one more time, okay? Okay. We go I and then O. <laughs> do you think you can do that on your own? I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Okay, okay. So Just I and O. Oh, you want to do onion, the whole thing? Yep. Okay. Yep. And it's okay that you picked up your pen. Sometimes we pick up our pen in cursive if we just need a little extra help. That's, that's probably the winning champion, probably. Maybe. Cause that's, be right. Yeah, that's probably the best one. I still think we need a little bit of work on that I-O combination. Got it. But this is legible and I do like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. What does this say? Parrot. Yeah, great job. So I love how you are seeing this R and you know exactly what it is. I like look through the whole word before I like, decided what it said. I think this is kind of a fun one. And then? That's the T. That's right. What would you change about this that you just wrote? Uh, I mean, these, this, and this don't really look. I think that looks fine, but what I would suggest is this R looks really good. He's nice and big. He has a lot of space. This little R looks like he hasn't had enough to eat. So, um, let's go ahead. Yeah, make him feel like... Make it more expensive, yeah. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Give him some space. Bigger. Yeah, he needs some room to breathe so we know what he is. Okay, A, R, okay. Give him some space. Yes, perfect, perfect. T, yes. They look like twins, honestly. Like what? Like not just print twins, but they look twin twins. Oh, the R and the R? Yeah. yeah. R and P. Oh, I think it's so fun when you have a word where you have like T, T, R, R, S, S. It's, yeah. it's pretty fun to play with those. Do you want to try doing this without yes. any guidance? Sweet. Yes. P, P is all alone. And then we have A, yep. R, yep, perfect, you fixed it. R, uh, and then close. Yeah, we need to give a little bit of room. Like, see, you're missing this right here, this little yeah, hump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you want to try it one more time? Okay. Yeah. Okay. A. R. Then R. Yeah, you did it perfect last time. I'll bet you can do it again. Lots of room between the O and the R. 
That's close. The only thing is... The T. Well, the connection between the O and the T. Remember, the O ends with a little eyelash. No! <laughs> and then you make a T. Okay, so what you did was you went down here, but then that looks like... A T instead of O T. Right. So you've got to be careful when you have that O, you end at the top with an eyelash and then you move on to the next letter. But all in all, these are pretty good, I would say. Yeah. And then this next one, do you have any idea what that says? Do you remember what that funny letter is that looks like a two? You said, I've been making twos all, or this letter all my life, I know it. Q. Q, it's Q. Yeah, so what does that say? Uh, quack. Yes! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> That's a fun word. But there's pretty much no other words with quack. Like quack. Q, U? Q, like quack. Oh, well, we've got queen. Yeah, you're right. Um, what else do we have? What's another Q U? Um, quasi. That reminds me of a name. Quasi reminds me of a name. Quasimodo. From the Hunchback of Notre Dame, right? Well, that, that That's one, but the other is Mozzie. Quasi. Yeah. Mozzie's in a TV show I watch. Mozzie's in a TV show you watch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're doing a good job. That one's going really well. Awesome job. Okay, now this time take it nice and slow. Make that two. Yep. Now make that U. Okay. A. Yes, 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 yes. Now C. Yep. K. Yeah, that looks pretty good, that I'd say. It looks like a miniature version. Uh, yeah, it looks like a miniature version, for One sure. One more. Okay. One more. Make that two. Okay. okay. And then you. A. Yep, and then make a C, and then make a K. Great job, that looks awesome. Like, I'd say it doesn't look like this, but I can actually read it and be like, is, that could probably be quack. Well, that's the whole point. It doesn't have to look exactly like it looks in this worksheet. You just, just have, have to, to look at it and be it. able to read it, which yeah. means it's, do you remember the word I used? Legible? Legible. Legible. Legible means you can read something. So our whole goal is to get you writing in legible, legible. Cursive. cursive. What does this say? Uh, rainbow. Perfect. Yeah, you didn't even have to think about that B. I love that. I can like see you learning as we do this. It's pretty cool. You didn't even have to think about the eyelash either. And then dot, it needs a dot. Dot. Yep. Now this is kind of a long word. I couldn't fit another rainbow right here. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I put those down there. I guess um, since I did pretty good on that, I guess I'm just going to go to these two. Go for it. You accommodate your own What's gonna work for you? The eyelash. O. Now when you make that O bricks, I want you to follow these arrows right here because right now you're going the other direction, okay? Like that. Go like that. But I'm going like this. Yeah, you're going the other way, so yeah, yep. Do you want me to draw those again so you can no, see them? Okay, okay, wait, all right. Wait, maybe. Maybe. And if you at home are having trouble with that, feel free to draw letters or draw arrows just like she's doing so you can pause and think, okay, I need to make it this way. Perfect. I, N, B, eyelash. Okay, this is your moment. Oh, I 
love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You did such a great job. Okay, I really like how you paused and you thought about that and then you did it. Yes. Okay, do you think that you can do this without guides? Yes. I just said I when you were making the day. In. Yep. Now B all the way up. Little eyelash. Now O, oh, do you need to look at your letters? Make sure they don't touch the B. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, can you make that W? Can she do it? Um, yes, 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 okay. That looks like what does this word look like though, right here? Like these two letters to you? Because uh, it looks like it looks A like I. W to me. It looks like ow, A. So what you're going to have to work on is when you get to the B O W. It has to go up instead of down. That's right. So you have your letter connection up here. Yes. Instead of down here. I, uh, I totally agree with you. Well, it's tough when you have an O connecting to anything because it ends at the top, but let's try one more time and see what we can do. Okay. Now you've got an A, uh-huh, I, and then N. N's a little tough. Yep, B, yep. Now you're at O. Good job looking at those arrows. Now remember, eyelash. And then you can look at this if you need to. So go down to the baseline oh, and end with an eyelash. Wait. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. That's definitely better than this one. That's right. The only thing I would suggest is this N is a little funky. It needs to go I N like this. Okay? Got it. But I think that that's pretty good. We can move on to the next word. The next word. On page 13. Spider. Yeah, perfect. And you know, just so you know, we only have a couple of words left, really. I think you're gonna breeze through these, both bricks and you at home. So keep on going. Easy peasy. Yep. You wanna just do it without arrows? Okay. Okay. I, D, yep. E, R. Awesome. Now I'm probably going to do this one because I need more, more practice in there. Yeah, the more practice, the better. That's right. It's like training wheels on a bike. Yeah. Oops. Oops. You know what I think your problem was? You got yeah. a little overconfident because you had those lines there for you. You need to slow down at this part. Yes, yes, yes. And then make that P, yep. And then I, and D, D is a letter you got, yep. And then E, little loop for the E. And then R, give him some room to breathe. Yes, perfect. I love it. I guess I will do it one more time. Are you sure? You could move on to turtle. I think that you've got okay. that. I'm yeah. Oh, I should have asked you what this was before I told turtle. you. You know turtle. it's turtle. <laughs> Now remember, we do this part first, the part going down first. So we oh. start at the star. And then you are giving room to breathe. Ooh, he didn't have very much room to breathe there. Oh, that says turts. Why does it say turts? Yeah. Uh. Why? So this was supposed to be T-U-R-T-L-E, but this says T-U-R, oh. what does that say? T-T-E. <laughs> T-T-E, yeah. So what are you gonna be more careful of next uh, time? Just getting this one. Yeah, yeah, we need to be careful about uh, making that cross just on the T, because if we make it on that L, then we are making two Ts. That's something that you run into a lot in cursive. Perfect, okay, that says turtle. That says turtle. That says turtle. <laughs> Except for like the other one. Yes. Since I did those two, I guess I'm going to do more of these. Okay. You are 
T L E and then yes, we keep that cross to itself. It should not touch the L. Uh-huh. I would go down first, sweetheart. Yes, exactly. And I love how you made that little eyelash on the T so people know that's not a print J. Yep. Over and up. Yep. And then all the way up for the T. Yep. Now I think you can do a little bit better on this part. I'll bet you can go you and then make this stroke and go into R. Yeah, so it's right there. hard going to U and R. It is a little bit hard going to U and R, but I'll bet you can do it this time. Very good. I'm just going to tilt it. Let's give that a little bit of a wave so people know that that is a T. That's not a print J. And then U. Yep. I didn't, I didn't. You got confused because you thought the T connected to the next letter, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to try one more time or do yeah, you want to move I on? Really want to okay. Upset. Upset? Yep. Or okay. we could take a little break if you want to. I think I'm good. You're good? Okay. Ups. Hello, everyone. We are now going to be doing upset. We didn't know the camera wasn't filming, so I already started. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so. You perhaps. And then now we do a triangle. Come up. How is it wearing out? It's wearing out a little bit. Yeah, do you want to maybe change to. Oh, hello, Gray. That I'm would be. To a, orange. You know, I don't think they'd be able to see orange very well. How red? about red? Okay. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Yeah. So, yeah, let's. Yep. And all the way down. Yep. Triangle. Yep. Little loop for E. All the way up. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. I'm not upset about how you wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have it not non tracing now. All well, you're still tracing, but you know. Not with arrows. Not with arrows. You are writing that with so much confidence. I wonder how you're gonna do without any guidelines. Great. Great. All right, let's see. Yep. Now down, up again, all the way down. Yep. Little triangle sail thing. Oh, that looks like an R again, gosh darn it. Yep. So that connection breaks that letter connection. We'll go boom, 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 boom. So try to make your S look like this. Cause for some reason, when you get to S, you tend to like trip up a little bit and make an R. Did you hit your hand? No, okay. I'm, just, I'm just trying to go like. Okay, okay. You, you wanna try again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let that S make you upset, Bricks. You're good at that. I, yeah, I've got pretty great jokes. All the way down. And then let's go ahead and make that S. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, Okay. That looks like upset. The only thing I would suggest is close that S, okay? You know what? What? I wasn't upset about that at all. <laughs> you weren't? I wasn't either. That that did look good. Do you want to try one more time or do you want to move on to vacuum? It's your move choice. Move on to vacuum. Move on to vacuum. Oh, I shouldn't have told you what that said because I wanted you to tell me what it was. Yeah, so this one might be a little complicated on the double U's. I think it's already tripping you up a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> okay, take a breath. Take a breath in. Okay, now this one. It feels like they're just all like WWW. <laughs> well, that's why I put this one in because I knew this one would be hard and I wanted to give you some easy ones and some hard ones. So I want you to take this slow, take it slow and really look at the arrows. This isn't one that you can breathe through. This is one that even people who know how to write cursive 
have to think about because of those double U's. Okay, that was good. That was better. That was better, that was better. But the last one was like, <laughs> Well, I think you just kind of got overconfident and it was like a little much. Um, okay, so nice and slow, just pay attention. Okay, U, U, M. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Like the these these all look like the same. I know. It's it's a weird word. I think even if you write it completely legibly, that U U combination is tough to decipher mentally. So it's tough to say, oh yeah, that definitely says vacuum. But you're going a lot better than you were. I'm gonna move your water. Okay. I'm curious to see how you do without the guides. Yeah. You need a little water break? You at home, remember it's important to have some water or something around so you can keep up your fuel. This is not easy stuff that we are doing here. But this is, <laughs> yep. This is a skill that you will use for the rest of your life. So that's what we're learning. All right. That's okay. What? Now, when you're writing this, it is really important to look at the example. So we have a little hill with that C and the U. I'm not sure I'm ever going to write vacuum again. I think that you will be able to write vacuum and you'll write it well. This is just a toughie. It really is. So let's try one more time and I'll talk you through it and we'll see how we do. So start at the top, all the way down, and in an eyelash. Yeah, now before you get started, I wanna say, this A does not connect to the V, okay? So it starts after, yep. And then we make an A, nice and slow, Bricks. You're going pretty quick. All right, now make a hill. Like this, right here. Now up, now down, make a hill. Yep, okay, now up, now down, and then up again, and then make an M. So down, M, M oh. as in mango. I was thinking of print. Do you wanna try again? Yeah. No? Let's move on to Walmart. I want you to promise me though that you'll work on this word at home, yes. okay? I want you to master it. Mm -hmm. But if you at home are having trouble with vacuum too, that's totally fine. It is a tough word. Okay, she's trying to figure out what this next one says. Wait, no. W-A-L, and then what is that? B. B? No, that, Wait, okay, like that, L. yeah, it is. It's an L that loops up to an, what's this letter? Uh, uh I, walls. What? Walls. Walls. Close. Wallers, wallers. So it's W-A-L. And then what's this letter right here? Uh -uh. R. And then what's this one? U. Yeah? Walrus. Walrus. That's right. And then an eyelash. Mm -hmm. A. L. R. U. S. Sometimes this paper won't just stay still. That's okay. You can always hold it. I Hey, I really like the pace that you went at just there. You weren't trying to be all speedy. You just took it nice and slow, and that's what you have to do when you're learning. Yep. L. R. U. And S. Nice. Now, guess what? Yeah. We are on the last page. Of, oh, where is it? Where did it, where'd it go? <laughs> right here. There it is. Yeah. We are on the very last page of this worksheet set. Do you think you can do it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good job. A L R. Yep. U S. Okay, can you do it without guidelines? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. W, yep. 
Yep. In with an eyelash. And then the A does not connect. Nope, doesn't connect to that. Yep. And then we make an A all the way up for an L. Yep. And then little R. Remember what R looks like? Yep. And then make a hill. Ah. So we would go, uh, let's see, probably what's going to be most helpful to you. R U S. I'm not sure I'm going to memorize this. You're not sure you can get memorize this one? Why don't you try tracing over it one more time? Just because we're near the end of the worksheet set, the next the next few words are not that difficult. I know you can do them. Aluminum will be really hard. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Do you want to try writing it one more time? Yep, end with an eyelash. Okay, now make an A. All up, all the way. Yep, now think about this. Yes, 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 oh man, okay. Now, look at this U right here. Yep, now down. Now up to the middle, and then you make an S. Okay, that looks much better. It really does. Yeah. That would be another one to practice a little bit though. Yeah. Okay, now we're doing, I, know we have... I don't think you know this word, it's xenon. I think xenon's an element. It's just a word that I use a lot in cursive worksheets because it has X. Yep. Mm -hmm. N, O, and N. Now one thing I would suggest, Xenon. <laughs> yeah, That's like, kind of fun to say. Ah. Z. Now what I would suggest actually is you write it like this. Are you watching? And then, boom. So write the whole word and then you make that cross. Got N, O, N, and then you make that cross. Boom! That's exactly what you said when you were learning X the letter. That's right. So let's go again. O. I forgot that was an O for a sec. Yeah, I know. I noticed that you did it like not how you normally do it. Yep. N, O, oh, that looks ah. like an E. With O, remember, boom, 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 boom. And if you need to draw that for yourself, that's okay. You try again, and when you get to the O, go in. What I want you to do right now, Brixlin, is go like this, okay, this way. Let me see your marker. So draw circles like this. Not like this, like this. Go that way. Can you do that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this way. Make, make O's, whoa, other way. Oh, can you do the O exercise? I think it'll help a lot. Yes, yes, just like that. Okay, try one more time. I'm not sure I can really fit it. I think you have space, you've got the space. E. N. I think this one might be kind of tough because this isn't a word that you use in everyday Nobody life. Nobody does it. <laughs> well, so this one would be one to practice. Can we just go to yawn? We can go to yawn. Are you feeling yawn about xenon? Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't a very fun one. Uh-uh. It's tough when you don't actually know the word. It's not fun to write words that you don't know. Yeah. But you've only got three words left, so I'll bet you can slow down and you can do it. Very good. Okay. Nice, slow. 
Do you want to take a break before we go on to these next two? I mean, you've got three words. I think it might be nice to be nice and fresh for those. Should we take a little break? Okay, we're gonna take a little break. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. We had a little dance party, didn't yeah, we? To, uh, to cleanse the palate a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel ready to finish up these last three words? Yes. You do? I am ready. Feeling fresh? Um, Feeling yes. good? Okay. I um I changed markers so so you guys could see it like more, more clearly. So here we go. So down to the baseline, up, all the way down. Then make that A. Yep. W is tricky. Yep. And R? Nope. You're gonna go up again for W. So because it's a double U. So go down. Yep, and then eyelash. Uh, yep, eyelash. Eyelash. And then that eyelash connects to an in right here. See that? Okay. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Your, uh, your black marker doesn't look like it. Yeah. Would you yeah, mind switching to gray? Uh, switch to brown, maybe. Easy to see. So, last one. Mm hmm. All the way down. A. Yep. Up. Oh man, you forgot the eyelash. Bum. You have like a, a W with an extra hump. <laughs> you, got, you got really excited on that W. I guess I'm not gonna do that. Can you take it a little slower and try it one more time? Yeah. And I'll just talk you through it. Okay, so up, all the way down. Nice and slow, Bricks. A. Yes, all right. Now this one we're gonna have to take uh, slow. Yep. Two, go up again. And after you go up, do the eyelash, do the eyelash. Yep, all right, now make your N. Your N connects to that eyelash, just like I showed you right here. Yep. Close. I'm try to... That was close. That looks like your a little bit to me. Like the, the last letter doesn't look like an N, it looks like an R. Yeah. But that'll be something to work on. You can tell that, so we've been filming over the span of three days. And I think little miss here is starting to get a little bit tired. And, and when you get tired, it's harder to, to make yourself do this. So if you need to take more frequent breaks, that's fine. We're gonna power through just because we want you to have these videos and have the guidance. But at home, they shouldn't go as, like, do as much as we have, right? We bit off a lot, we're chewing a lot. It's, it's a lot to do and you are doing a great job. So let's do zebra. I wanna do aluminum. Do zebra first and then oh, your, sure. your treat, your special treat is to do aluminum. Cause you're actually pretty good at zebra. Oh, this is a B. Yeah. So did you, does that feel weird how that B connects the R up there? No. No, really? No. Well, that's awesome because that trips a lot of people up. E R A. Awesome. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> That's okay. Make it a hey. little E. Oh, yeah. Here, we can fix it yeah. just like this. And then go on to make your B. So, how do you make your B? All the way up, down, eyelash, R, down. Yes, yes, yes. And then A. Yeah, that actually looks like a zebra. I think our R was a little big. Yeah. A little big. But it looks like zebra. Aluminum. 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 Okay, so before you start this. Yeah, I'm so excited. I already know that you are going to get frustrated with it because this is a tough word to write. It's supposed to be the most difficult word to write in cursive okay. that's not like super long, like super califragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think you could write that in cursive. Oh, you could totally write okay, it in cursive. Okay. It just take a while. So you at home, if this word is frustrating, that's normal. I just, I know it's a matter of time until she gets frustrated with it. I think you know, as you as you go through, you should try to observe which words are the hardest for you. And I think for her, I've seen 
but U is pretty darn hard, and N and M. But you're doing great on the tracing part. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong about this not being a super fun one. Yep. Very good. Yep. I'm just going to have all the tracings, so it's just gonna work out. Okay. <laughs> I hope it does. Well, you're doing a great job, and, and this is the very last word. Mom will take my time. Yes, I'm glad that you're taking your time. And, and I should mention, obviously, this word starts with A, and we went in alphabetical order, but I didn't put it at the very beginning because... Because it'd be like very hard. Exactly, I wanted you to have all of that good practice before sure. you got to this, okay? So did we do A? So like... Yeah, we did apple for A. Oh uh, yeah. Which is a lot easier to write than aluminum. Well, it's kind of weird to say, like I can't even say it. Well, I don't think everybody says aluminum. I think in... Aluminum. I think some people say aluminum or something. Aluminum. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I like saying aluminum. Yeah. All the way up for L. Yep. And then little U. Yep. And then M. <laughs> I even got confused on that. I'm like, wait, what comes? M. M. You gotta do another hump for M. M. Yep, yeah, I. Oh. Yep, yeah, N. Yeah, you fixed it. U. Yeah, hump. Yep, yeah, M. Three. Yep. And then what do you do now? M. No, cross, uh, dot your eye. Dot my eye. That is actually much better than I would have guessed. <laughs> do you want to try writing it again or do you want to just be done? No. You want to try oh, writing it one more time? Okay, folks, this is our last word in this worksheet set. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, in, you, and. That actually looks like aluminum. Yeah. No, this was really, really great. I know that you got tired there towards the end. If we weren't on film, I probably would have gone a lot slower and had us do just a couple of words at a time. But you did awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better filming partner and yeah. somebody to, to show people how to write in cursive. Now, I do want to say, let's see, we end with these practice lines. Okay, Bricks? So like when we were doing the uppercase letters and you were having some trouble with the G, I said, okay, let's turn to the practice lines. This is a really good opportunity, a really good page to practice writing letters and words that you just aren't sure about. You need that extra practice, you use the practice lines. I also suggested a few words that you should write that are not in the worksheet set. So the name of your favorite city, the funniest word you can think of, a place you'd like to travel to, write your own name, yeah. just, and, and if you can't figure out how to write something, go and find somebody who can write in cursive and have them show you how to write. But I suspect that you will be able to figure it out by looking at this cursive exemplar. So Brixlin, here's what you're going to do from here on out Got when it. you want to write in cursive. You keep this page close to you. You can fold it up into little pieces, or a little, little piece, and take it to school with you. Whenever you want to write in cursive, you look at this exemplar and, are you listening? Yeah, I'm just trying to find it. Oh, that's right, yeah. Well, you can have mine, that's fine. Got it. Yeah. You should be really proud of all this practice you did, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So it's tons of practice. Brixlin has this exemplar. You have this exemplar at home if, if you have the worksheet set. Even if you don't, remember this is available for free on the TPK website, the exemplar pages. You can yeah. look at it as a reminder of what the letters look like and also how to write, write them. all of these letters, okay? 
So I'd like to thank you so much for watching. We really enjoyed yes. making these videos for you. Anything else you'd like to say? Um, please leave in the comments below what other videos she should do and if she should do them with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. So, Briggs, how did you feel about learning cursive? I loved it. Did you? Yes, definitely. What's your game plan for, like, really getting to know how to how to write words? Um, I'm just going to think of what you taught me mm -hmm. in my head, and I'm going to be like, I need an example page. Well, I, how about, yeah, you've got the example page. I'm going to send you with a clean worksheet. I'm going to send you home with a clean worksheet. Okay, okay. And then you can use that too. So like I would fill it out. I, I think the letters are good, but I would fill out the words one more time. Got it. Okay. Yeah, you good? Yep, I'm good. Okay.